Now this illustration deals with instantaneous trip circuit breakers. And in the old days, you know, they, they came available to us in a fixed setting. Like in the low setting, it was three times the frame. So if you had a 150 amp frame, say, uh, we're just saying that, three times that would be 450. The medium setting was five times. So it'd be five times 150, which would be a 750 uh, amp setting. And then the highest setting, Fix would be 10 times, so it would be 10 times uh, 150. Now, uh, basically what we would do is uh, check out the starting current of the motor. And I always, uh, if, you, if you had a design letter, uh, you know, you could use a design letter to do that. Uh, and, of course, uh, like you see, if you're using, a, a say, a design B motor, uh, and you go to your table for 30.251B, uh, then you could get basically the starting current of that motor if it wasn't a high efficiency motor. But notice in the call out uh, in the illustration, it's a NEMA B, it's a high efficiency motor. Uh, it's a 100 horsepower, 460 volt, three phase. So that means the starting current could be high, see? So looking at your uh, uh, note one, it basically just talks about uh, uh, an instantaneous trip setting. Once it's set, that device will not trip till you exceed its setting. And in note two, we're just pointing out that this could be a NEMA B high efficiency motor or a European design E type motor. So uh, again, you see what type of motor you have so you know what uh, type of device you want to use to start it and it's based mainly on design as we'll see as we go through this chapter 18 and uh, all of the illustrations that deal with proper designing a motor circuit for a motor and then remember you can always go to the table of contents and you have to find an article it's article 430 you would find the part that deals with what you're trying to do. If you're sizing conductors, that's part two. Then you go to part two of article 430. It, it even gives you the page number. Uh, and you just scroll down till you hit 430.22. If you're sizing the overcurrent device, and you go to the part that deals with sizing the overcurrent protective device. Now notice most of the time, uh, the overcurrent device sitting, it was a... Mainly, it's for uh, uh, short circuit current, ground faults, allowing the motor to start. But notice, the overload is not uh, mentioned protection. Why? Because you're sizing it greater than 125% of the nameplate of the motor as uh, required for you and I to do when we review 430.6A as an apple, two of the code. Now, looking at step one, we have a motor uh, lock rotor current, uh, 100 horsepower, 725 amp is what we're saying this motor could start at. Now, step two, five times you're using the uh, medium setting that you see in the illustration. Five times 150 would be 750. And if acceleration time of the load doesn't become a problem, that's going to allow that motor to start and accelerate the load. See. Now, uh, the uh, instant, uh, instantaneous setting of that circuit breaker would be 750 amps, which would hold the motor's lock rotor starting current of 725 amps and would very definitely start that motor and drive the load if it wasn't some uh, acceleration period that gave you a problem allowing the motor to start and accelerate the load now that's what this illustration is illustrating the settings and remember these new settings you can just crank in this uh your setting above the lock rotor starting current of the motor plus the acceleration time uh, of the motor now uh instantaneous trip circuit breakers then you notice you start off with a rating of 800% in table 430.52, column four, uh, 
there approximately on page 319 of the NEC. So this figure 18-24A is showing what the table uh, setting would be, but you can always adjust those settings. This is just a percentage to start with. You can always go to the exception 3, the 430.52, and you could go up, up from 800% to 1100 to 1300%, and finally 1700% when you review the exception. So that's what this uh, figure 18-24A is showing using settings of an instantaneous trip tap circuit breaker to allow a motor to start and run. Now, if you didn't want to use, say, 1,700% in the exception uh, to, say, 430.52C3, then you could use a solid-state starter to reduce that starting method or adjustable speed drive in many cases to adjust the starting current, then these percentages and settings can be lower. So that's what we're uh, illustrating in the illustration along with the text in Chapter 18 of Stockup's Electrical Design book, uh, Chapter 18.